Winds of Change head to the ring. Roger Corpo leading in Darren De Niro and VIP Joe Rosa for an important tag team matchup. I'm now being joined by someone who uh, was just made the butt of another John McChesney joke. Justin LaBar, what happened out there? Don't stow me. I'll tell you what happened. We let the senior citizens in here. They, they're stealing things. I, I had to get a new neck brace. Uh, I, I have a, you, know, you know how expensive this neck brace is? This, is? this is the third model. The third model in the Aaron McGuire Industries of medical facilities. And I, my neck brace almost got damaged because of dangerous confetti out there. Is that a good enough answer for you, Joe? I've heard about that company. They make faulty material to begin with. Joe Rosa, one half of the IWC Tag Team Champions, alongside his partner Jimmy Vegas. Rosa and Vegas have been at each other's throats for many, many months. Thanks to that reset button, they were put together and very unlikely tag partners. Vegas not here, Founding Fathers suspended 60 days for their recent unruly conduct. The reset button is the worst thing in professional wrestling. You got the odd couple of uh, Vegas. Well, for, before we get into that, Mr. Lombard, let's introduce the Appalachian outlaw, Jock Sampson, scheduled a team with Bronco McBride, but we have some hot news about that. Hey, hey fellas, hey, you guys down there, you and that trifling little, I can't say it, because I got called about cussing. They said, Jock Sampson, you can't cuss. You can't do all this mean stuff. You can't beat your wife anymore. You can't cheat on your wife anymore. So what happened is, is I want to tell you this, and the cheating and the beating comes together. Bronco, I don't know where he is. I think he's out in Maine moose hunting, but he's not here tonight. But when I met beat my wife the last time, I met a man who could be my tag team partner tonight. And Daddy, I knew he was cool because I met him in jail. So what we're going to do is, hey, I'm going to bring him out here, and when I pin you, I expect a tag team title shot. And then your girls here, they can actually go buy a dress, because these guys right now, I'm going to just beat the hell out of you. And honey, when I'm done tonight, we're going to have a night on the town. Why was Jock Sampson beating his wife in jail? Regardless, I know that guy. So does Pedro. And who's replaced by the tag team partner, the world's most high-level wrestler, Ryan Kissel! Ryan Kissel, a Midwest-based... Jack Samson met in jail. A, a, a Midwest-based wrestler from the Toledo, Ohio area, a deceptively agile big man, uh, not the most mentally competent Justin, but he's dangerous and rich. Well, and apparently he's the most huggable inmate. Uh... And then the jails that Jock Sampson has served in. And I'm not going to pursue that line of questioning any further. Can we go back to this reset button? Odd couple of Rosa in Vegas. And now they have the tag title. Reset button cost RJ City the IWC world title. Reset button, the worst thing that's ever happened in professional wrestling. Agree? Well, it did give me Virgil, so you do have a point. Wow. But, hey, that's what... You guys knew the deal going into it. You guys knew that every champion was contracted to enter in a match against an opponent chosen by the reset button. Just because RJ uh, used the uh, uh, lawsuit threats, the legal finagling, to, to cheat his way into an additional match doesn't mean that rule was waived. What do you mean cheat his way into an additional match? It was the letter of the law. Uh, justice was served. And then, and then as, as much justice was served... It was all torn away by, by, by an over the hill Tommy Dreamer. What is it with over the hill? We got Kato. And then we got Tommy Dreamer. I, you wouldn't say that to Tommy Dreamer's face. I'll tell him. If Tommy Dreamer walks in here right now, I'll, I'll give him a reality check right now. Well, you know Tommy's a little bit busy. You know he's in Philadelphia, I believe. So that's not going to happen. You talk tough now. I'll, I'll go to Philly. I'm, I'm, I hope you do. I spent some time on the main streets of Philly. I gave many a reality checks on the east side of Philly. I bet you did. Me, New Jack, Mustafa, we were once the reality bloods. <laughs> what? Fact check it. Wikipedia it, Dombrowski. So it is Rosa and De Niro, uh, not the tag team champions, obviously. That's Rosa and Vegas, taking on Jock Sampson and Brian Castle, two makeshift teams of a different uh, model. Of course, Rosa and De Niro have been teaming regularly, but it's interesting to me to note that uh, Rosa, when he was teaming with Vegas, and De Niro was randomly selected on the other side, Rosa tried to get De Niro to lay down for him, and it didn't exactly go the way he planned. 
Oh, you can't blame him for trying. I mean, Rose is obviously the one in charge. You have you. He's. I'm sure he's paying paying uh, De Niro good money, and De Niro needs to follow follow the follow the money, follow the paycheck. If Rosa tells you to lay down, you should lay down. It's all dollars and cents to you, isn't it? That's the way of the world, Dombrowski. You ever hear of Pride? No, who's she? I didn't think you would wearing that neck brace. And Jock Sampson, he loves to drink beer and fight. He's a loud mouth, he's ornery, he's on PC, but he can get the job done. Likes his cowbell too. His wife doesn't. Oh. Poked to the eye by Jock Sampson and tag into Brian Castle. The IWC debut of the world's most huggable wrestler. Saw Castle in the back earlier today, walked up to me, huge childlike smile on his face, waving at me. It's pretty much all he did though. It's pretty much the end of the conversation. I tried waving at him and he gave me a finger. Not very likable in my book. Well, he must have heard about you. Beg your pardon? Why are you wearing that neck brace anyway? My C4, C5, and C6 vertebrae were damaged severely when John McChesney pushed me out of my wheelchair. Like, once again, an Air McGuire Industries issued, standard issued wheelchair to take care of me, and, 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 and it, it totally, back in January, it broke the wheelchair, neck is hurt even further. I don't think you need an Air McGuire neck brace. I think you need Brink security, but be that as it may, Jock Sampson charges through at another eye poke. Jock Sampson not really big on the wrestling moves. He likes to fight. Well, that eye poke's working though pretty well. Uh, Castle tagged in. Castle north of the 300 pound mark. He's a, I don't think Castle realizes his own strength. That takes down Darren De Niro, the top prospect of the Faces of Change. Faces of Change been a bit disjointed lately. Uh, Corpo had a uh, severe ankle injury thanks to a, a melee with the Founding Fathers. But he's still out here, and you can't underestimate him if he's out here. Certainly can't disagree with that. Of course, uh, Rosa's arm candy out here, too. And Kessel sent into De Niro. De Niro nicknamed as such because he's the sure money better the group. But I think he's being devalued. By Castle and Jock, a double drop kick. Not quite as smooth as the Rock and Roll Express. But you know what? It's got potential. What do you call them, Joe? So far, I call them successful. Inmates from another mother. Hugs and jocks. Jocks and hugs. Well, Corpo has uh, hashtag bodies on the back of his... Uh, a sleeveless t-shirt. I think Jock and Castle showing it's not all about cosmetics at this point, but De Niro from behind takes control. Well, De Niro, he's living up to the sure money bet. He's doing the smart thing, taking the big man's wheels out. And De Niro, a natural athlete, also has experience uh, in amateur style wrestling, but you wouldn't know it from uh, the way Rosa's programmed these guys. Everything down to the look, even in the jeans. He's, I mean, De Niro's not looking for an amateur wrestling match. He's looking for a fight. Interesting choice of shirt from Rosa. As Castle has been isolated in enemy territory, it's been three on one for the last several moments. Jock with the inadvertent distraction, Rosa finds two. Jock saying, remember prison, come on. Jock is one of a kind, isn't he? I don't know. I think I think he fits right in here with this Clearfield mutts. If you weren't so condescending, I'd agree with you. It's one of the common people. That's not common. Sunset flip. Cover. No. So the common man beats his wife and then beats his tag team partner in prison? <laughs> Some exceptions to the rule. I mean, he likes to have fun and go to the bar, have a beer. I don't endorse all that, you know, wife stuff or the prison thing. But, I mean, he's a cool guy aside from that. He's got a nice cowbell. Whoa, look at the strength. There's the power. 
brute strength. De Niro, unreal power to slam 330 pounds. Chuck doing a great job adding his own two cents. Was Castleman many arm submissions in prison? I'm not really sure. Rosa with a cover. And Jock interrupts. Jock's got a temper. Yes, he does. Jock is probably the most polarizing guy we've seen here in IWC in quite some time. We've seen Jock at his angriest. His temper is just completely gone out of control. And we've also seen him want to come out here and laugh and have a good time. And Jock upset that Rosa is infringing upon Jock's back race. Trademark back racing. I don't think you could trademark a back rake. Hey, you don't know my lawyers. You can do it. All right, there's nothing I can't do. Well, we'll see what kind of behavior you could trademark in this cage match later tonight. Are you going to mind your business as Castle connects with a one foot drop kick? Are you going to behave with the steel cage up there between you and the action? Of course. I'm going to be out here uh, doing, doing what my representation uh, uh, duties call for, representing Mr. Brooks tonight. I, I... Well, here comes Jock. Rosa thrown off his game, tried to impede Castle from getting the tag, and it's all Jock Sensor. De Niro is punch drunk. Jeez. And it's still two on one, at least for a moment, with Castle out of commission. They can count to 10, Joe. Of course they can. Oh! Don't sound so sure. It is Clearfield. I had doubts. Rosa vaulted in the air. Could Jacques Sampson pin one half of the tag team champions? That would move him up in the line. Oh, the eye poke. Rosa stealing all of Jacques' hits. Rosa and De Niro collide. De Niro didn't see it. I don't think Rosa did as well. Jock with a backslide. He's going to get him. What an upset. The face of change have run roughshod over IWC since last summer. But tonight, a miscommunication and a follow up pin. Jock Sampson and Brian Castle just pinned one half of the tag champion. Yeah, I'm looking into Rosa's eyes. He doesn't look happy. I'm looking into Nero's face. He doesn't look happy. And when news gets to the founding father's camp, Jimmy Vegas won't be happy either because Vegas, he still wants to successfully defend that tag title. Rosa dropping the ball. Oh, look at this, Joe. And this is the first time I've seen De Niro get in Rosa's face. You can tell the frustration. Stand there, watch me leave. Keep your mouth shut. You go, it's your fault. You ever see me get pinned? You ever see me get pinned? Yeah, he doesn't get pinned. You know it. Rosa, indignant, incredulous over what just happened, and Rosa putting 100% of the blame on Darren De Niro, and I'm not exactly sure if that's uh, if that's fair. Well, De Niro was in the way on the apron. I mean, I can't blame Rosa for being upset. I mean, De Niro, again, well, it goes back to what I said earlier, Joe. Rosa's paying De Niro. De Niro needs to be in the right place, right time. That was the wrong place. How will this continue to impact the tumultuous state of IWC's tag team division? <laughs> 